You've just landed on PsycheCraft, your ultimate guide to exploring the depths of the human mind. Here, we embark on a fascinating journey, delving into psychological theories, engaging in thought-provoking discussions, and shining a light on enlightening insights from the world of psychology. With us, you can expect in-depth analysis and a chance to satiate your curiosity about the labyrinth of the human psyche. If you find value in our content, do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share this video. Today we delve into the intriguing world of Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis. Born in the late 19th century, Freud's ideas revolutionized our understanding of the human mind, laying the groundwork for much of modern psychology. Central to Freud's theories is the concept of the conscious and unconscious mind. He proposed that our conscious mind, what we're aware of, is merely the tip of the iceberg. Below the surface lies our unconscious mind, a vast reservoir of thoughts, memories, and desires hidden from our awareness. Freud argued that this unconscious mind holds the key to understanding our behavior, desires, and emotions. He believed that our unconscious desires often conflict with societal norms leading to anxiety and neurosis. To cope, our minds employ defense mechanisms, pushing unacceptable thoughts into the unconscious. Freud's theories, often controversial, continued to provoke thought and debate. His bold foray into the hidden recesses of the human psyche forever changed the landscape of psychology. Freud suggested that our lives are guided by hidden demons, unconscious desires and fears that influence our actions. These demons, as Freud called them, are deeply embedded within our psyche, operating behind the scenes, shaping our actions, reactions, and interactions. Let's delve into Freud's theory of the id, ego, and superego. The id, according to Freud, is our primal instinct, our unfiltered desires. It's akin to a demanding child, constantly seeking pleasure and avoiding pain. On the other hand, the superego is the moral compass, shaped by societal norms and expectations. It's the internalized voice of our parents, teachers, and society. It thrives on perfection, always pushing us to be our best selves. The ego, in Freud's theory, serves as a mediator between the two. It's the voice of reason, striving to satisfy the id in a socially acceptable manner, while also trying to meet the high standards set by the superego. Freud also emphasized the importance of childhood experiences in shaping our adult lives. Unresolved conflicts or traumas from our childhood can create demons that impact our thought processes, behaviors, and overall mental health. These demons could manifest as irrational fears, unhealthy coping mechanisms, or self-sabotaging behaviors. These hidden demons, according to Freud, are often the root cause of our anxieties and neuroses. They lurk in our unconscious mind, silently influencing our actions, often in ways we don't fully understand. So, how do we unveil these hidden demons? The answer lies in the innovative therapeutic technique developed by Freud himself, psychoanalysis. This method involves a deep dive into the human psyche, exploring the uncharted territories of our unconscious thoughts and feelings. At the heart of psychoanalysis, we find two key elements, dream analysis and free association. Dream analysis, as the name suggests, involves the interpretation of dreams to uncover the hidden meanings and desires they represent. Freud believed our dreams to be the royal road to the unconscious, a pathway leading straight to our deepest, most concealed emotions and thoughts. On the other hand, free association is an exercise in spontaneity, where the individual is encouraged to express whatever thoughts come to mind, regardless of how disconnected or random they may seem. This process aims to reveal the unconscious links and patterns that govern our thoughts and behavior. By understanding our hidden demons, we can better understand ourselves and navigate life's challenges. This was Freud's enduring insight, 